morning. I'm Susie Vance from Creating from the Heart, the Artistry of Living, and I have with me Erin Melendez, who's going to be having a show at the Depot this summer, the Depot in Beverly Shores. So Erin, have you always been a painter? Have you always done this stuff? Um, as far as I can remember, I've been drawing as, as far back yeah did you pretty think, much um did you think you were going to do that when you were a little kid uh i didn't think of it that way i just kind of knew i wanted to then and there and i didn't think about how i was going to carry out into the future so you just started i just started and i wanted to get better i mean i wanted to be a, i wanted to have professional skills right away so and that drive kind of you know just pushed me further and further each time there you go. So every opportunity that showed up to get those skills. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't easy because it's like if I look back at it now and I started drawing mm -hmm. that way now, I'd probably give up immediately. <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> Why yeah, is that? I mean, obviously it was, you get some leeway as a kid because you're not that developed in your motor skills and whatnot. Uh -huh. and you don't have the years of experience. Like, right. Yeah, that's a, that was a long time ago. So. <laughs> it's not so long. <laughs> I don't think I want to put in that many years again. <laughs> so now what you do is this is creative art that you're going to show us that you're going to show at the depot. And what do you do in well, addition to that? In addition to that, mm -hmm. like I'm so I work, uh, work with the BNSF I do uh -huh. contract work with them. Uh -huh. uh, at the rail yard, just a supervisor over at, uh, in the Joliet yard. But as soon as you go home, as soon as I go you. home, yeah, it's a it's a three days on, three days off. So the three days off is three days on, <laughs> three days on of painting. Yeah, that's and great. it's not just painting. We have to go find these images, and because I do a lot of representational work, uh -huh. and a lot of it's with uh, dunes and and birds. Uh, mostly sceneries and you know areas we've been. So we'll go explore with my wife. Uh, Crawl different locations. The yeah. yeah. And we'll take what pictures. What are some of and, your favorites? Uh, from areas we've been to. Yeah. So obviously the Indiana Dunes because mm -hmm. uh, we're here all the time. Uh huh. We even moved like right in here, so <laughs> that's a that's a a given. And then uh, we like to explore. We've been several times to the. J and Dean Darling mm -hmm. uh, Preserve down in Sanibel Island. That's wow. uh, that's an awesome place. So we were just there recently and we got a lot of images while we were there. So you can both play. I love yeah. this. This is great. Yeah, and then uh, that was a nice spot. Uh, where, where else? Uh, Maine. Maine was great. Was it? And uh, we went to Estes. Uh, Essence Park in Colorado. I love that, that was place. A great, that was a great location. Yeah, I had never been there. She was there as a, as a child, and she took me recently, maybe a year or two ago, and I would definitely go back. Yeah. I remember when I was a kid, I had a really good friend who was going to go camping, and I was going to go camping with families, and we promised we were going to meet at Estes Park, <laughs> and the miracle is we did. That's a big place. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Well, share one of us, one of the pieces that you brought with you. Okay, we'll start with this, this little Junko here. There you go. So tell us about the Junko. What attracted you to the, the Junko? Well, a lot of the things that I paint, like I said, are representational, but they're almost like recreations of moments in time or, uh -huh. or uh, how you would want to see that piece of scenery or wildlife and so uh, my wife and I we like to go find out find all these birds we're into birding I mean it, it's all kind of wrapped in the same package we'll go out explore go see birds go paint birds go paint scenery and this that and so we, we found a nice little junko and he's great we're excited so we painted him and he has yeah, I love the leaves and everything that are around him that's just exactly like the juncos I see in my tree. Yeah. That's great. Okay. And then I have and uh show us this one. This untitled Doomsgate what four? I love this. This reminds yeah, that, me. that might 
this one and another painting that I don't have here might be my favorites that I've done. So this one I like a lot. It's you might in the summer you might be able to see something like this mm -hmm. still because the these, the cragginess. Yeah, and the, it, the, you'll have to go definitely at one of those uh, bright hour times in the morning, sometime between like eight or nine o'clock, uh -huh. to get something like that, uh, even up till noon. But I love the oldness. It's like of, a yeah the falling back oldness and the new green and i've walked through that area several times mm -hmm. uh, but it wasn't until i hit hit it at the time with all those shadows that i was like oh, okay that, that's that's really fabulous. nice that is really nice and i love the blue sky yeah that's great yeah so that that's where you get the artistic uh, leeway to to, to kind of do what you want there Play so around. it wasn't exactly a blue sky but i made a little more blue than it there you go. Than it really was. Blue I mean, like it was to you. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. That's the way that's I wanted great. to see it. Uh huh. So I painted it that way. And the green is fabulous. I love the green. It's just beautiful. Yeah, I had to go buy a couple other greens for that one. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because a lot of the stuff I have is real muted and uh -huh. earthy, but I wanted to get a lot more light in yeah. my paintings so i had to get some brighter colors awesome and it worked out good <laughs> it really it really worked out on this, this one this is great well we're really excited to have you in beverly shores at the depot it's <laughs> going to be great yeah i can't wait me either <laughs> so thank you so much for sharing thank you it's been great do you have any words of advice uh, to anybody who when they're little, wants to do something, you just keep at it? What you happens? have to keep at it. You know, it's always, you have to keep at it. It's not easy. It doesn't get easier because you're going to, sure, you, you're able to paint better, but you're going to find the errors in your in your painting and you're going to oh. want to continue to keep going. There's an error in it. this painting? <laughs> <laughs> That's very nice of you. <laughs> But it's like once I get like halfway through a painting at the time, I'm like, okay, I know I could do this one better. And it's like, do I want to go through that effort again or just move on to another one? Usually it's move on to another one. So it gets hard to actually finish a painting. It is? Yeah. Um, yeah how do you know when you're done? Uh, well, either, either you met a deadline, um, <laughs> you don't know where to go next, or you give up and say, all right, that's it. We're done with it. <laughs> That's funny. It's it, it in in my life as a lawyer. It was always like you have to know when to stop. <laughs> you have to when, know when not to ask any more questions. And it's it's a skill, and it's in everything we do, painting as well. Apparently. Yeah. So when uh, like if I was to paint this for a client or whatnot, then I'd have to work it a, sometimes a different way than. If I was painting for myself. Oh, talk some, to me about that. Sometimes I want to focus in an area and get it like in here. That was that wasn't easy, these areas here. Actually. Okay, so like right in here. Not not too easy. All this whole area because as watercolors you're working uh, light to dark and you're preserving your lights because you don't use white. Or at least I don't because mm -hmm. I'm trying to perfect my skill. Mm-hmm. So I'm avoiding using the white and so I have to focus in these areas and sometimes I'm not sure I'm going to pull it off. So I'll stay in there. But if I was to paint this for a client and I know there's a deadline looming, I'm I'm going to be moving around everywhere. So I work it in a state of, try to get it in a state of doneness. If I'm short on time or if I'm long on time where I'd be able to go ahead and just call it done whether I know it's done or not. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you want to be goodness. able to have, you don't want a, a blank area and then you run out of time. You're like, oh, well, I didn't get to finish this one area and it so completely sorry. ruins the whole, <laughs> yeah, completely ruins the whole thing. You want to have it at least ready for them on that time. So you want to work it all together. Right? A lot of times it comes out more harmonious that way. You get colors that bleed in that you want that you can't always get if you work corner by corner. Very interesting.
my son um, does the occasional artwork and he always starts in the middle with the nose <laughs> and it works out from there it's now, interesting I've, I've seen people work that way and it great for them because they perfected that way that's, that's how skill. they work and they they're used to it i wouldn't Not recommend yours. somebody starting no yeah it's like well, that'd be a, a nice a nice test to try it that way it would be yeah <laughs> <laughs> i like to see it all come together yes so. and then you feel good mm -hmm. and so does the person looking at it i would hope so <laughs> So thank you very much, Creating from the Heart, the Artistry of Living, and we hope to see you when Aaron is at the depot this summer. Thank you. Mm -hmm.